Oh, I, I just don't like him. Heard about him. <laughs> Talks too much. <laughs> it's wonderful, isn't it? All that nonsense. Uh, give the night feeders time to come back on. Absolutely, Alistair Campbell. Those who are spending their first day or two upright. And uh, we, the intelligentsia, shall press on. I'm having a great time with all of our, and I'm not exhausted the way I was the first week. Six, seven, right on the puppy mats today. And the one seven was a good attempt, but a near miss. Well, they're good, God, and that's fine, because I was just a tiny bit anxious that you were getting done in. It was the way you'd sort of worded it. You said, the hamster never does this and never does that, never does the next thing. All of it does all this stuff. And I thought, yes, yes, yes. It's very tiring looking after a puppy. But it will keep you young and out of mischief, Gordon Robertson. And that's two counts that we put a tick in the box. Would you not agree with me? Do you not agree with McClure? Uh-huh. Right. What I'm doing, guys, I'm actually sharing on my LinkedIn, which has got 10,000 people. You know, and we like that. Right, that'll maybe do for hashtags. I better not overplay it. Right. And you see, what we could do, if I was going, when I go to a television company, in days gone by, they would have said, yeah, we've seen all your streams, Scotty, but, you know, you don't look terribly glamorous or professional or anything like that. With lockdown, it doesn't matter who it is. They can be the highest in the land. They're all appearing from their house now. So it's perfectly acceptable to have a stream like this live on the telly. You know, I, wouldn't, I mean, I wouldn't mind if behind me was Glasgow or Edinburgh or Scotland or London or Rome or any of these places, a big set, and they put it across the screen, Scotty McClure, one stop broadcaster talking to you, whatever sort of stuff, but it would be a huge ratings winner. And I would rather the television companies did it while I'm still alive, you know, because it'd be a wee bit more entertaining. <laughs> but they should look at it. There's nothing that they're going to lose on that. You know what I mean? What could you lose? Scotty McClure's on. Friday night, Scotty McClure's on. is going to pop up and talk to us. And we just have some serious chit-chat like we do here. You know, how good would that be? Right. I think I'll just send this out right now. And that's it. Uh, what have we got here? The post comparing Toya and Oliver was tongue in cheek. Of course, Gordon, absolutely. Well, that just shows you how sensitive I am to your requirements. There you go. My clue thought, I hope the old guy's okay. You know, absolutely tongue in cheek. Your tongue firmly in your cheek. I'm really enjoying having all of it. Of course, Gordon, don't read anything into that. I was only saying, you know, I was just telling you the joy is unalloyed. And, you know, for a couple of wee presents, so what? You know, uh, doing good with the diet, says Anthony. I've stopped deep fried takeaways and trying to cut out snacks. I will be nearly 15 years married next week, and I want to give Mrs. Mac a treat by getting back into my kilt. So what? how many stone do you want to lose, Tony? And you could start now and over the next five years, say that's what in five years' time I'm going to be whatever, five stone lighter or whatever. Man's best friend, you can't beat it. You're so lucky, God, and dogs are amazing. You're right, Catherine. Absolutely. Gordon, I'm anxious now that I've I've brought this up. You know, it's fine. Do not worry. Or as we say in Scotland, dinner fash yourself. Dinner fash yourself. Here, I've not touched my tea. It'll be cold. <laughs> Wonderful stuff. Right, there we go. 
Then a fascist ally saying, 